Hello and welcome to Conspiracy Theories episode 4. Last episode we started, well I started explaining about the history of the Knights Templar. This episode we're going to continue, well I'm going to continue that, but I'm going to do the actual conspiracy part instead of the history for this episode. Um, and I mentioned the Temple of Solomon last episode also, which was their base of operations for the majority of their span of control. And so, what? There have been tons of theories about what could be hidden in the Temple of Solomon. And um, one of the most common ones is that. The Holy Grail was there, and so let's just assume it was there, and if it was, um, why would the church be so interested in what the Templars apparently found there, and why, and be interested in why the Templars were interested in the Temple of Solomon? Of course, they knew why they were interested, um, but also, but I think it's, I think the most likely explanation for the assassination of the Knights Templar is that it, is that they, the church, they actually found the Holy Grail, and they found it not to be a cup, but to be, well, they didn't find it really. They found out what it was though, and it, they found it not to be a cup, but to be the bloodline of Jesus Christ, who was a holy figure. But this would basically mean the Jesus committed a sin and the church didn't want that because it had seemed to deface their entire religion because their entire religion at that point was based on the fact the point that oh this one guy went and yet he didn't commit any sins he said was the son of God let's all believe him and they, at that point, they basically killed anyone who didn't believe that that's what happened. And so when the church, you know, when the Templars came out with this, I think the church just refused to accept it. And because the Templar didn't answer to anyone apart from the Pope, um, the Templar, the church feared that they could go out with this information, tell everybody, and because it was such a popular and trusted group, people would believe them, and that could be bad for the entire thing. And so the witch trials started a few hundred, cent few hundred centuries. Um, few centuries later, um, and I believe those witch trials were to uh, bind the bloodline of Jesus. I'm not saying Jesus was a holy figure or anything, in fact I don't even believe he was, but um, anyway, enough about, I don't want to start a debate in the comments. Uh, Although it'd be nice to have some comments for once, but um, anyway, so I believe that that was just to find the um, generation of Jesus' bloodline, and so they could put an end to it, destroy all evidence that that's the case, and so yeah, um, there's evidence for this quite a bit of evidence because the Holy Grail in French is Saint Grial. Translate that back to English and it is Holy Bloodline, I think. 
yeah, Holy Bloodline are Holy Blood. So there's quite a lot of clues that lead up to this. And don't forget, there was the Priory of Theon as well that supposedly had dealings with the Knights Templar and worked with the Knights Templar. And so, yeah, subscribe.